Hello friends, so in this lecture, we will start with a new chapter, queuing theory. So in the first session, what we are going to learn, let's look into it. So you are going to learn about the importance of queuing theory. What is queuing theory? Why it is important to study? Second is, what are the applications of queuing theory? Where do you apply queuing theory? Then you will look into the, some of the different terms of queuing theory. And finally, you will look into the components. What are the different components of queuing theory? So let's start with the importance of queuing theory. So if you see here, there are long queues during the Great Depressions. During the 30s, there were there was a lot Great Depression in the US. So during the depressions, you can see there was a long queues for the food and supply. Right? If you, from the picture, you can see. So queues are prevalent in the history and at, at this moment of the time, you can also see queues everywhere in banking, retail sector, right? At passport cake, seva kendras. It was it used to be right around six to seven years ago, there were long queues <coughs> to get the facilities. Right. Now another example, if you see the recent example during the pandemic, corona pandemic, there were long queues near the liquor shops. So these are some of the examples of Queuing, queuing systems. But what are the consequences? What are the economic consequences of the queuing system? So first and the foremost, from Indian point of view, India point of view is, if you are standing in the queues, you are wasting around 1,137 rupees on an average in one day, standing in the queue. That is the worst consequence of queue, right? Standing in the queue, waiting in the line to get the service. Second, the abroad uh, example is given of the UK. The retailers is like they almost thousands of pounds per day they, will, they lost in revenues due to these long queuing systems. So these are one of the prevalent examples where you see the bad consequences of queue. So that is why it is very important to learn about the queuing system and how to manage these long queues so that you will you can easily manage the customer service as well as the goodwill of customers. <coughs> so what is queuing theory? So first of all, it is mathematics of waiting lines. Waiting lines can be in the network as well, computer networks, where the waiting is for the signals, right? Waiting can be for the services, whatever you are expecting the services, you can wait for them as well. Wait for in the queues to get the service, right? Why do you want to study this? Because you want to predict and evaluate the performance of this waiting line. Because if it is uncontrollable, if the queue is uncontrollable, it is difficult to get the service on time and you can lose the customers as well as the revenues as a result. So that is why it is important to study queuing theory. Again, here, wherever, whatever, let's say for example, another example I have given here is customer visiting a store a mall right again like for a router at your home whenever you are using broadband the signals that are coming right they are also similar to the example of a queue right where they have to wait and the signal is processed in the router and the router sends the signals into the device so these are some of the examples of queuing system or you can say the queue now what are the applications? Let's see one by one telecommunications. Just I given gave the example of the route signals to the router, right? Traffic controls where you have the incoming or outgoing flow of the uh, vehicles. Next you have the computer operations, right? The network packet signals from internet where you are getting the data, right? Computer performance when you want to predict the health service hospital bed assignment whenever you are visiting the hospital or you can say the dispensary you have to wait in the queue right how the facility this hospital facility has to manage this type of queue airport traffic airline ticketing management for queue you will see the queues over there as well at the airport right? and again the layout of manufacturing system where the queues are of the products or the semi-finished products where they are waiting to be 
assembled or you can say processed so these are definitely applications where you can extensively study the uh, queuing models and you can apply these models to find out the solutions to properly manage the queue <coughs> now what is the system consisting of system start with the customers right where you have the input here yeah. then you have the long queue of these customers they can be products they can be packet signals they will wait waiting to be served then you have the server where the server will serve this customers right together with the queue and the system so, sorry the server they together constitute the system right after service they will depart so this whole thing is nothing but a queuing system now what are the key elements two key elements are the customers and the servers customers arrive at the facility wanting to be served and the servers who will serve the customers so these are two basic elements of the queuing system now what are the examples of queues where do you see them at hospitals at reception the people are the customers at the reception the reception is the server for hospitals you have patients as the customers and the doctor or you can see the nurses are the servers the, another example is the airport network computer grocery all are different examples of the queuing system where you have different customers and different servers now what are the in detail if you see about the queuing system it start with the population customer populations from there where the customers are coming into the queuing system right if you see one example is given here of the car which is coming into the service station so first of all the car will come from the populations right of dirty cars they will arrive at a service station right they will stand in the queue which is nothing but the waiting line next if you see in the picture they will go into the service facility one by one enter and exit and finally they will depart from the service station so what are different characteristics you will observe here the arrival pattern is there right service pattern is also there and departing pattern is also there clear now arrival characteristics can be like size of populations here it is written behavior of arrivals is also there how do you arrive at a service facility and finally the distributions of the arrivals mathematically if you want to convert into the distribution how to convert it into some distribution so that you can easily model it then waiting line characteristics are there limited or unlimited characteristics or queue discipline what is the discipline first come first so we will look into detail of this and finally the service characteristics also what are the patterns what are the design of the service facilities there so we will look one by one into detail so first is arrival process right where they are coming from what are the numbers and what is the time in which they are coming into the service facility second is the queue structure what do you mean by this what is the structure of the queue first come first serve basis and whatever the first is there is going to be he or she is going to be served first right second is last come first serve it is also a case where the last come is served first then you have zero which is nothing but service in random order and the last one is priority they are served on priority basis so this is nothing but the queuing structure next we have the service system you have single service what is the best example of single service whenever you are visiting the dentist you wait in the queue one server is there right you will wait in the queue and one by one you will be served so that is single service system and single queue and single service single server right next example is multiple parallel servers the example is putting in a service station there are multiple servers are there but you will stand in the queue right waiting to be served through different servers so if the server is empty you will be served from there so that is the example of multiple parallel servers next is multiple parallel facilities multiple queue models this is the example where you can you can also use this an example for the cash counter at electricity office whenever you pay at uh, electricity office you want to pay the bills you will see there are different queues even at the banking uh, uh, area as well you have different queues for different facilities and different arrangements right and different counters are as well different these counters serve as a servers right so this is nothing but multiple parallel facilities multiple queue models <coughs> now in series you can see the best example is manufacturing scenario where you have different operations like cutting nailing welding right 
dispatching all these processes are in series right they are served or you can say processed in series one by one right clear so this is nothing but facility service facility in series the best example is manufacturing scenario so what we have studied today so in this lecture we have studied about what is queuing theory where does this queue applies what is the importance of queue? see the importance of queue management is very prevalent the first example i gave was the india is losing almost in 24 hours almost 1100 rupees in a day standing in the queue that is a lot right it is a waste of even it is a waste of customer goodwill as well as well as lost in revenue for the company who is serving customers and for the customer as well which is wasting the precious time right we also looked into the uh, abroad scenarios as well where the uk customers uk retailers are also losing out on uh, <clears throat> lost revenues right there is one case as well in us the us itself lose almost billion dollars a year just waiting in the line right so that is the that is the important case that is why you study about queuing management you have to study the queue management why do you manage why do you have to study the, to manage the queues so that you can effectively provide the customer service without losing any customer goodwill as well as without losing any revenues because it is going to bring the profit to the company right next we look into the characteristics of the queuing system what are the terms which are related to the queuing system like customers servers right there are also components of queuing system as well where they have a different arrival characteristics as well they arrive at a facility right they stand in the queue and then they start being served right now the queue and the ser servers they together constitute the queuing system right once the service is over the customer departs from the facility here see so the whole system is nothing but queuing system we will try to study this whole system starting from the arrivals to the departure and they follow certain distribution we assume some kind of distributions in between so that you can easily solve this you can easily model uh, in easily model mathematically so that we can solve the problems here now also we look into some of the examples of queuing system where you have examples of computers right where the packet or signals come into the router of computers right to be waiting to be processed we also look into the examples of the dispensary or the hospitals where the patients are the customers and the nurses or the doctors are the servers here we also look into some of the other examples like traffic management system where the vehicles are the customers or the when they are served at the signals that is nothing but the traffic management system the whole queuing system right you study and you try to model these scenarios based on queuing theory and then you arrive at the solution how to manage this queues this has been effectively and well balanced um, effectively like you can say the example given is passport seva kendra the best example where the government is effectively managing the queues with the help of ECS, they have given this work to TCS where they mathematically or you can say effectively man it's a management science basically queuing system, one of the tools and technique, right? So TCS what they have converted this um, day to day um, queuing management scenarios into mathematical model and they convert them into effectively manage how to <coughs> manage the queues, long queues so that they can distribute different servers to the different facilities. If you have visited Passport Seva Kendra, you can easily see there are different servers for the different queues here, or they have appointment system as well. So this all is based on this queuing technique only. Clear? And finally, what we will look into the next lecture is first of all, what are the characteristics? In detail, we will look into the characteristics of the queuing system. Then we have we will look into the candle notation. Kendall, one of the mathematician, he has given the notations for these queuing models. So one of the model which is in your syllabus is MM1 infinity infinity FCFS. FCFS is for first come first serve basis. So this particular model is in your syllabus. 
so we will look into detail of this model so till then goodbye thank you very much